Welcome back friends. Today we're going to do a cleaning video here on our Thunder Beast Take Down 22 suppressor. It took me 26 months to get this thing. Uh, that's another video, but we finally got it. Been running it on my CZ 457 and all that ammo is match ammo, SK, rifle match, SK, standard plus. But I've also been running it on a cool new pistol that I got, which is a SIG 322. If, you, if you're looking for a 22 pistol, that's the one to get. Now on that pistol, just been running just whatever I've got laying around. I've got a I've got a bin with just mixed ammo in it, Remington Thunderbolt, uh, Golden Bullets, Federal Auto Match, CCI, just whatever. So it's probably due for a cleaning here. We want to take it apart and uh, get her all cleaned up. What we're going to be using is my little ultrasonic cleaner here. This is just one I, I got for Christmas off of Amazon. It's 3.2 liters. Filled it up with distilled water here. And then we're gonna take our Thunder Beast apart, take all the components, put it in this Ziploc bag, and fill it with simple grain. It's gonna be 100% concentrate. This is not the uh, heavy duty stuff, so we're gonna see what kind of job it does on it. Uh, if this thing has a lot of carbon, that might not be enough for it. And uh, we'll just have to experiment. But we're gonna do that together. So let's get this thing apart, see how dirty it is, uh, so we'll know what we got to begin with, and then we'll put it in here. We're going to let it run for, how, how about 25 minutes, and at 50 degrees Celsius, which here in the free world is like a 122 degrees, so it gives it a little heat, makes it work a little better. So let's get this thing apart, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, let's uh, get this thing apart with our little handy-dandy tool that... Thunder Beast gave us, get the end caps off. Now this is a titanium tube and stainless steel innards. So let's take a look at it. Okay, not too bad so far. Okay, it all comes out and the way Thunder Beast does it. Got it all numbered here for you. And uh, they have a mark in here so you can put it all back together the same way. You can see this little uh, offset in there and that needs to be lined up all the way through for this thing to work. So if you got your numbers right, then it will be fine. Okay, let's uh, get these apart. Actually, they said you can, uh, I think they said you can use this to get it apart too kind of hard. There we go. You know, it really doesn't look too bad. We might not need that much. Now we're starting to get a, not really any carbon chunks. Let's see if we can get any more apart. Don't have to worry about getting them out of order because they're all numbered when you put them back together. Come on now. That one, stuff's pretty tough. Don't have to worry about bending it, it's stainless steel. And I'll tell you what, this silencer works pretty good. I was testing ammo today and just seeing what kind of a different point of impact changes I had at 150 yards. That is 100 yards and 50 yards. We'll have a video on that. You know, this thing's not that dirty. We're going to clean it anyway. So it's going to give me a benchmark of how long I can go between cleaning, especially when I'm using um, match ammo. Okay, let's get all this stuff in our bag. And goes in there. A little simple green. The reason I'm doing it this way, I mean, a lot of people fill up their entire tank on their ultrasonic cleaner. And they dump all that out, which makes no sense. This way you can keep this all nice and clean. And okay, we're totally submerged there. Could you take a look at that there? Got everything totally submerged. And the ultrasonic will work through this plastic no problem. 
and it will also some people use a you know peanut butter jar uh, pickle jar you know whatever you have but Ziploc will work just fine so the ultrasonic cleaner will work right through whatever you put it in okay we got her set for 25 minutes let's put the lid on get her going and let's come back 25 minutes and see what it looks like okay we're just about done let's see what we got alrighty it's warm it's not too hot simple green looking a little nasty our pieces look a little shinier okay tell you what let's move this over just a bit and turn our machine off reposition the camera just a bit for you so you can get a little better look at it what we're going to do is Take this out of here, out of the simple green. We're going to put it in some water. And get all these pieces cleaned off. Put some off in a little water, and then we'll see what it did. The thing about this simple green is it's biodegradable. You just throw it out. You don't have to worry about it. It's not caustic. Okay, let's look and see what we got. A little closer here for you. Well, that one's nice and shiny. Inside, still kind of gray. Let's see here. I still feel a little grit I don't know if it needs to go longer or maybe the simple green is not tough enough still feel it here too look at some of the rest of them yeah same thing here I mean it's darn sure acceptable there's there's not a not, not a problem with that at all we really don't have any any carbon buildup to knock off anyway but I'm not sure if the simple green is gonna be enough enough horsepower for what we're trying to do with this 22 it's just a filthy cartridge and it does build up a lot of residue yeah that one's not that one's not as good yeah well that's a uh, that's our first experiment, folks. We're going to go with, uh, I'm going to say no on the 100% Simple Green. Guys, I'm just not really happy with the results at 25 minutes. So, I think what we're going to do, since we have everything ready to go, I think we're just going to throw it back in there. And we're going to let it go for 35 minutes. That'll give us a total of one hour. And just see if that... Oh, great. That wasn't a very good idea. That'd be a total of one hour. Clean that off a little bit. And just see if the simple green is going to be enough to cut it. Now, they do have a heavier duty product. But I thought I would try this since we did have it. And we'll just uh, we'll just put her back in here. Let it go for well, 35 minutes. That will give us a total of an hour. And see if it makes any difference at all. I mean, right here we got the stuff. Let's try it real quick. To, let's see if it'll go forget how far the yeah it only goes up to 30 minutes so you don't want these things running all the all day okay I'm gonna go 30 minutes and then we'll check back and see if that helped at all well about done here 
let's see what we get after an hour now the temperature did go up to 48 degrees Celsius it's gonna be a little hotter yep water is definitely warmer okay so these parts might be a little warmer too let's see uh, er. yep they're hot but I'm gonna sacrifice myself for you hot 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 Ooh. How many more do I have? Hope not many. I think that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. Okay. I'm not seeing a whole lot of change. Let me get these out here real quick. Some of them are really plain. I guess it depends on where it is in the stack. See, this was number 10. So this is the last one in the stack. That thing looks like brand new. The other ones here, let's see if we can uh, zoom in just a little tighter. Let you guys take a better look. Now we've still got Still got the same thing going on here. And remember, this was a uh, mildly, mildly dirty suppressor. Not like some of the stuff you see with carbon hanging all over it and everything. Okay. See, so here's some, the outer side. Now that's going to take some, uh, It's going to take some elbow grease to get that off. So, I'm thinking this isn't going to be a good solution. Well, as you saw, as we demonstrated on the video, Simple Green is just not tough enough to handle this stuff. This suppressor was not that dirty, so you can imagine what it's going to be like when you've got big chunks of carbon and things like that. What I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to occasionally take this thing apart we're going to shoot it a lot out of the pistol with the crappy ammo i'm just about done with all the testing i'm going to do on the rifle and um, but we're going to see if we can get it dirty and just occasionally I'll, I'll pull it apart and look at it and see if we can get some carbon built up in there get it good and dirty and try something else uh, simple green does make a product called simple green heavy duty pro and since i am a pro uh, I can probably go buy some at Walmart or Home Depot. Might try that. I'm going to have to look at the spec sheets on it and just see how tough it is. Maybe run the same experiment with this and see if it works. Good thing about the Simple Green stuff is it's you know biodegradable, so you don't have to worry about uh, disposing of it. You know Some of the other solutions that people use, uh, pretty caustic. This stuff, as you can see, you can get it on your hands, whatever. It's not going to be a big deal. So we're going to give this two thumbs down. Don't waste your time on it. I wasted the time for you, and that's why they pay me the big bucks to do this. So if you've got any comments or questions, put those things down below. you got a solution that works for you. Let us know. Share with the class. We can all learn together. And until next time, you guys be safe. Keep that muzzle pointed in a safe direction, and we'll see you out on the range. Adios.